Well, Kansas City is known as the city of fountains. There are hundreds of them and the upkeep can get really expensive. It sure can. That's why some of the city's most popular food trucks are all parking in one spot to help raise money to keep the historic fountains flowing. Betsy Munster is live from the Feast of Fountains to explain how. Betsy. Hi there, Ellen. Well, the answer to how is right here behind me. You see all those food trucks, people lined up, they're paying money to get that food, and some of that money is going to go to this foundation. They're calling it the Feast of Fountains. The food truck vendors have all agreed to donate 10% of their profits to the City of Fountains Foundation, a nonprofit that's been around for more than a quarter century to supplement city funds for the fountains. Now, tonight's event is the first of three monthly food truck fundraisers. Each one of them is going to be at a different prominent city fountain, each one of them on the second Thursday of the month. And it's not just food, you do get live music to watch while you nosh. Now, this one is the first of the season. It's the second year that they've done this, but it's the first of the season at the Northland Fountain at Vivian and North Oak. We talked to the truck owner who came up with the idea about what you can expect based on his experience with last year. Last year, people came out, they had fun, they brought out the kids. Uh, it was just really engaging and festive for the families. And so. And speaking of the families, take a look at this. This is a, actually, it's not a food truck, but it's a reading truck for the Mid Continent Public Library. They've got some giant Legos out, and the kids are having so much fun with that. They could even pick up some free books. Last year's event, by the way, raised $5,000. This event goes until 7. There are two more coming up. I'm going to tell you where they are September at Kessler Park by the Kansas City Museum, and in October at the Fountain by the World War I Museum. Reporting live in the Northland, Betsy Webster, KCTV 5 News.